In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Greetings, this is Father Sam Moorhead, Rector of the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, and with it also Pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary on the Auraria campus. I welcome you back to the Cathedral Rectory for a Rector's Report as we head into the 27th Sunday and week of ordinary time, and so let's begin this time together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty and Eternal God, Holy and Blessed Trinity, you are God itself, the fullness, the perfection of love. You have revealed yourself, drawn us into relationship with yourself. So lead us, guide us, bless us at this time, in this place. Let us know you, the fullness of our faith. Let us live joyfully, boldly out of it, and share it with others. And may Mary, our Mother, and our Queen pray for us in all of the good that we're called to do here in the heart of Denver, as together we say, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Well, as we gather together, a couple things to look forward to on the horizon next Sunday. So not this Sunday, but next Sunday, the 15th, we're going to have the next installment of our young adult programming, Corda, for those 18 to 30-ish, and that will be a first-of-the-year pub trivia night with me. So after the 8 p.m. Sunday Mass on the 15th, we're going to gather, so excuse me, after the 6.30 p.m. Mass, at about 8 p.m. on the 15th, we're going to gather in the basement of the Cathedral Basilica, and we're going to have a couple rounds of uh, pub trivia, and there'll be prizes to be had. So invite any young adults that you know. You can get teams together and team names and all that. We'll have a whole lot of fun after the 6.30 p.m. Mass, so gathering at 8 p.m. in the Cathedral basement on Sunday the 15th. All of our other good programming continues here in earnest at the Cathedral Basilica on Wednesday evenings. We gather at 6.30 p.m. in the Cathedral basement for our small group faith sharing and deepening of faith and learning more about the faith. It's for those who are cradle Catholics, those who want to go deep in the faith, be renewed in their faith, just share their faith, or learn the faith, come to the faith for the first time. So all are welcome. I taught this last week. It was a great uh, turnout, many good participants, and we do it again every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. in the Cathedral basement. So I invite you, uh, please be there. In these weeks to come, we're going to come to the 111th anniversary, 111, of the cathedral's dedication. It was 1912, and so in 2023 would be the 111th anniversary of that. The feast day of that, which is a full solemnity at the Cathedral Basilica, is on the 27th of October. So mark that on your calendar. The anticipated Mass will be at 5.30 on the 26th, after that, I'm going to offer a cathedral tour to the public, anybody who wants, anybody in the whole archdiocese, any non-Catholics as well. And then we're going to have a time of Eucharistic adoration to sum up that tour. And then on the 27th and self, we'll have our normal mass time, 7 a.m., 12, 10 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. And all of those masses will be for the solemnity of the dedication of the Cathedral Basilica on our 111th anniversary. So those are some great things to look forward to here in the next few weeks here at the Cathedral Basilica. I hope you and yours have a wonderful weekend, that you enjoy these autumnal days, and that you know the nearness of God and his grace. But for now, I'll give you a blessing. The Lord be with you, and through the intercession of our Blessed Lady Mary and all the angels and saints, the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good one, everyone. God bless you.